No one will know. She says to wear gloves. Fishing some of these wires through the stud work. I'm too short. I don't know if he should be climbing under there. There's a worm. <gasps> these are solder splices. Loop goop. It's not embarrassing for me. <laughs> now you know us. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the stuff. This is how you're supposed to do it. I need another wire. The professionals don't say that. Welcome back to our channel. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Don't forget to like, or if you don't really know, just do a little thumbs up, I guess. We've got just a couple hours to sneak in some work tonight. In a, a previous video, if you guys want to go back and look, we have uh, demolished the back wall, rebuilt the back wall, and got it ready for us to do the interior work. So, the very last video we did, we put in the, the marker lights, we put in the tail lights, and now we're ready to wire those. We've got a couple more things to do back here. We're going to try to seal up some uh, uh, pinholes that we found in the, the sheet metal. Yeah, so I don't know if we'll get all that done tonight. Mm. That's going to be today, tomorrow, maybe a couple days during the week. But um, we're happy you're here, and let's get to work. All right. Okay, one quick thing. A lot of times in RVs, wiring can be confusing because they use different colors for different things. Um, typically, white is always the ground, and then they use a multitude of colors for the positive wire. But I took my 9-volt battery with our new LED lights. I'm going to put the red wire on the positive side and the black wire on hey. the negative, and we've got uh, a working light. Red is hot here. <laughs> black is negative. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Okay. We're working. Yeah, I can tell. All right, well, Tyler gets going on that wiring. Um, I'm going to take a crack at trying to repair these pinholes. So before we power wash and clean up the outside, it just looked like dirt. I'll show you what it looks like outside now. Um, but we're going to try some Eternabond tape with some JB Well, like marine epoxy putty on the outside and hopefully it'll patch those up nicely and um, have them just blend right in. From the outside, uh, this which looked like dirt before is definitely little holes. So there's quite a few right in this area. I'm not sure exactly what would cause that but we definitely don't want to leave these little holes. Um, first of all it doesn't look great but you know we're going through to rebuild the wall and the last thing we want is holes in the wall. Here's the tape. Um, I think it, what it really is is a butyl backed tape. I have to try to get it in this crack. It's probably going to double run itself and bunch up six different times um, and then make a mess but here we go. Make a better door than a window. It's crooked. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> No one will know if you don't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> this tape also came with this little roller. Can't really roll this very well, but um, for this one, we'll hit it with the rolling pin thing. Rolling pin? What is it? A roller? Beautiful. So a lot of people use this stuff for roof repairs and other repairs. Um, I'm sure when we get to the roof and like the awning holes and things like that, we're going to wind up using more of this. But um, I also want to put something on the outside so it's not just, you know, it will get dirty in those holes if we don't cover it on the outside. All right, here is what we have to patch the holes on the exterior. Basically, it says just cut off how much you need, um, smushed around in your fingers. So we got Ella with the gloves. She says to wear gloves. And then you, you put it in. So I've got the tape on the back. Here's those other holes that we hit. Um, they're tiny, but I think they definitely could be a problem if we don't fill them. So we're going to smush this up and try to get it in those holes. Two-part stuff. Oh, it's rolled in plastic. Well, way yo. Okay, so let's cut this. And I'm going to give it to you for this smushing, okay? I do want to paint this bumper, but I don't think we're going to get to that right away. 
You oh, got yeah. it. There we go. Yeah. All right. So smush it around, like just yeah. <laughs> Stick it to my glove. Oh no! Don't worry. Yeah. Don't roll it. Maybe just kind of smush and smush. So play. Mm -hmm. Until it's all one color. Is it one color yet? Probably takes a little longer than that. So like here and here. All right, we got it all mixed up. Yeah, this is our biggest one right here. Ella's going to try to just get it in the hole. Oh, that looks good. Now push it in with your finger as good as you can. Does it feel like the hole's really filled up? Yeah. All right, here, I have a little blade. Let me see if I can okay, yeah. do a little more. This one was in a hard spot. We actually couldn't get tape behind this one. Oh, yeah. All right, let me see if I can sort of just push it in. There. That's not too bad. We might have to come back a little more. We could let that dry and come back. Okay. All right, let's do the same to the rest, and we'll show you what it looks like after. All right, this is looking good. A couple more. You want to show what we did already? I'm too short. I think um, if we wanted to, once it dries, we could um, sand it down a little to try to shine it up, but... Um, it does say it dries off white, so right now it's pretty whitish, but maybe it'll dry. Okay. See, I can't just leave all enough alone. Put that on, and I should be wearing gloves. There we go. All right, that looks good. That's pretty much it. Bye-bye. All right, I'm just uh, fishing some of these wires through the stud work because when we put our panel on the uh, the inside here, we don't want to have our wires uh, interfering with that. So I'm going to run my wires behind uh, in a little crack here up to my lights there, and then I'll take them on across to the other side. Nice. And then I've got to go pick up Jack from the movies, but while I'm out, I'm going to grab some... Um, two by two so we built this back wall with two by threes but um the slot that's left here on the sides we need to um, repair this side wall and then get this side over here in better shape um so we can use two by threes for most of it but we're gonna need some two by twos as well we're at home depot this is the aisle we need so of course the whole thing's blocked off and it, I don't know if he should be climbing under there. Um, it doesn't look like they're going to open it anytime soon. So hopefully we can get those boards before they actually close the store. We ended up getting a few. They're not the straightest, but <laughs> they're all we could get. So they're going to have to do. All right, welcome back. It's a new day. The sun's out and I'm going to get started on some wiring. Got a magnet going. You finding anything good? Yeah. Any treasures? Yeah, Let's see. Oh boy. That would have gone right in our tire. There's a worm. <gasps> Ooh. Good find. We can go fishing later. Okay, I've got some of my wiring routed through my stud work here. So now I'm going to make some of my splices into my marker lights. Green is going to be positive in the RV, at least for the DC side of things, and white is going to be negative. So I'm going to hook my green wire to the red wire. These are solder splices. These splices, when heat is applied, that solder joint right there actually melts and it'll bond the wires together. And then the rest of it is a heat shrink and it'll wrap around the wires and make them waterproof.
so I'm not going to show you all the connections that I'm going to be making because it's quite repetitive, but I'm just going to make my uh, ground connections here and then I'm going to go on down the line to the next ones. They're all chained together. All right, so people don't really know who you are or who I am. Tell me one interesting or embarrassing thing about you. I'm not telling you anything embarrassing. <laughs> Most of it is embarrassing anyway. <laughs> uh, one interesting thing about me, huh? Um, I don't know. <sighs> All right, I'll say something embarrassing about you. Oh, go ahead. Let's hear it. You cannot figure out when to use sit, set, or set. <laughs> not embarrassing for me <laughs> <laughs> there's a long period in my life where i thought that bruce springsteen and rick springfield were related so <laughs> now you know us turn the corner get up there get in your home that's your home are you too good for your home no got it getting it oh yeah that's the stuff we didn't get the chance to uh make the brake lights water tight the other day so got some proflex goop and we're about to pop that on there so we can get it wired up i did cheat with the painter's tape here i'm going to go ahead and seal the brake light um this proflex is not exactly the same as like household caulk it's a lot stickier and it doesn't just spread out. I did this so I don't mess up the whole back of the camper here. Oh, look at that. No, oh, don't zoom uh, in. <laughs> all right, backing away. I'll get that off. Back away quickly. So right. I'm just going to gloop it on. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I, that wasn't my fault. And then no. come back right. with um, little She probably swipe. got sabotaged by somebody. You. Oh, I wasn't going to say me. I'm going to hit this gap too while I'm here. Right. Oh, that's pretty. Are you zoomed in still? Bottom sides of things always leak more than the top sides. <laughs> Don't worry, she's a professional. I oh, no. <laughs> To professionals don't say that. <laughs> All right, and then the tape comes off before it dries. And look at that. No one will ever know. Right. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Uh, tail light. Yep, tail, tail lights are on. Okay, and the marker lights? Marker lights are on. Yeah, the the brake light got a little brighter, yeah. A little brighter. Okay. And the right turn signal. Uh, <laughs> the brake light's blinking. The brake light is blinking. So, right. so we're trying to figure out where these wires go. I feel like we're close, but blinking brake light probably isn't what we're going for. So the colors on our new lights don't coincide. Yeah, I've got about five colors that I'm trying to work with for wires that are very vague here. Yeah. So. Well, I feel like we're getting close. Yeah. So. Well, oh, yeah. We, well, at least it comes on. I'm it was pretty... exciting when those marker lights came on. Right. They looked right. great, honestly. Really? Yeah. Well, uh, so, yeah, we are getting close. Just wanted to... Uh, I, I've got to touch some different wires to different wires, and we'll see how it goes. All right. Many unbearable hours later. Uh, I need another wire. I, I don't know. I think either either I have to pull a wire from inside, I mean up front, or something starts making magical sense and I can get it all figured out. We did some research and I think what we have come up with is we are missing a wire. One wire. Uh, from the old style, 1976, to the new, um, we have turn signal wires, but we're missing our brake light wire. Uh, it, years ago, I guess it was a shared wire, but that isn't going to work for us because it just doesn't work. Anyway, 
I'm gonna have to pull a wire from up front to back here to make those brake lights work. I can picture it in my mind and it's breathtaking. We're gonna shift gears and go with the wall at this point just to make some progress today. Uh, we're kind of at a standstill with our wiring for now, so we'll come back to that. While Tyler was working on the wiring, I started cutting some boards that we can use to rebuild this wall. Um, I don't know about everyone's RV, but ours seems to be at about a 15 degree angle here. So um, I've got some two by twos cut to make a basic frame that will slip in this little notch. And then we're gonna take the window out and start framing this in. We, we will wind up redoing some of the wall over here but we wanted to re-support this before we took that out and then nothing was holding it. So right. here we go. So if you didn't see the video where we tore down and rebuilt the back wall, you should definitely check that one out. For the side wall, we're using the same method we used on the back wall with the pocket holes made with the Craig jig and then two and a half inch screws. It makes the wall so much sturdier than they even were from the factory. <gasps> This is quite the load of caulk. Golly, how many tubes of caulk did they use out here? Took all the butyl off, put a new strip of butyl on. The plan would be use butyl, push it in, that'll do an initial seal. We'll come back around with some sealant and hopefully make this thing watertight. We got this window in. We're gonna take this one out, get some butyl behind it and seal it up so we don't have a waterfall down the back next time it rains. Well, you can see where they've run screws in here before. This is kind of flexed out and uh, the screws probably aren't going to bite as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my vice grips and I'm going to squeeze that just a little bit and it's going to draw that in and that'll give the threads on the new screw something to bite to. I wonder what other people do to relax. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, so we bought like hundreds of feet of this butyl and I swear this we're running low already. So. Right. You go through a lot more than you think you would. So what happened? Nothing. This is how you're supposed to do it. Oh. And the back window goes in again. All right. What is it? Hard to say. So I've got a bunch of shrapnel in my hair. We've reached the end of another day. Kind of a bummer on the lights, but I think we'll research it is what it is. I mean, uh, you're dealing with a 50 year old RV or nearly 50 years old. And so modern advancements in lighting and what it takes to make things work is a little bit different now. So, so we're going to do some research. If you have any ideas and you want to shoot them to us in the comments, we'd really appreciate that. Anyone who's upgraded their taillights, brake lights with LED, we'd love to hear from you. This wall is so much better. Do you want to give it a little shake? Oh. So it, it's so much sturdier that we were afraid that window was just going to basically fall out before. So we're feeling good about that wall. We have a little more to do on the side. Coming up next, we still have to tackle the roof. We're also to the point where we're going to start primering everything that's in here, any of the wood that we're keeping. Um, and a lot of that on what comes next is going to depend on the weather. So stay tuned. 
Also, one of the things we got to do is a little bit more engine work, actually a lot more, but uh, we need to start getting that uh, sprinkled in with some of the videos. I ordered an exhaust manifold for the passenger side. It cracked. It's been repaired once. Um, I, I just don't want to take my chances. I found one on eBay. I actually, like I said, I got it on order. Um, I've got to do exhaust manifold gaskets. So that is something that is on the immediate to-do list and hopefully that will be uh, coming up soon. I think that's going to do it. If you like what you've been seeing, thanks for giving us those thumbs ups and um, that was kind of dorky. And we appreciate having everyone along with us on this journey. So stay tuned and have a good night. Take care.